very stern, never really punished me for anything that I've done that's wrong. Uh, I saw him under the garden of the law, not a priest. Um, however, God guided me gently over the years and showed me that he was a loving, gentle, uh, heavenly father. Uh, I recall the time when I was driving and feeling very anxious about all, all the, the issues that plagued my life. Uh, anything that was major in my life was at stake. Uh, everything came at one go. Uh, I felt lonely, isolated, uh, extremely exhausted, and I felt no one believed me uh, despite all the struggles that I went through. And then God spoke to me through the Holy Spirit as I was driving. Um, he said, Never mind, Roger, if no one believes you, I believe you. And tears just rolled down my face. I'm not true. And I decided to do or die to leave everything to God in His hands from that point on. And I know that you know I needed to be broken. It was necessary for me to be broken before He restored me. And um, things that I used to be anxious about, uh, He took care of. And things I, that I wasn't anxious about, He took care of it as well. And, and that's the beauty of God. He takes care of everything. Uh, when He blesses someone, He really blesses someone. And um, none of this is because I deserve it, but because I knew God. Uh, I've learned each day that you know, not to be anxious about anything, but to seek his, his counsel as a first resource and not a last resource. And um, I think it's because it's impossible to please God. I also believe without faith, I also believe that it is impossible to have faith without going through trials and tribulations that um, you know and experiencing his grace and his So I thank you for listening and for witnessing the message.